coming to the next one lateral sphenothalamic tract since we know one tract this tract is very easy only few things will change what are those receptor will change nucleus will change and the white funiculus will change that means where bundle is ascending that will change remaining will be same first order neuron second order neuron third order neuron and the course will be similar so when you take the lateral spinothalamic tract first we should know the receptor for the pain you can see the receptor called free nerve endings free nerve endings these are the cells and this is the free nerve ending so for the pain what is the receptor free nerve endings then lateral spinothalamic tract is not only carrying a pain sensation it is carrying a temperature sensation also for the temperature what are the receptors there are two receptors one is for the warm another is for the cold if you take the cold receptor this is the receptor which is taking the cold sensation this receptor what you call crosses receptor crosses receptor this is for the cold what about the warm for the warm there will be roughness and organs there will be roughness and organs like this either it is pain either it is cold or either it is hot or warm when these receptors are stimulated that mechanical stimulus will be converted into the electrical stimulus that electrical stimulus will be carried by the same neurons that means first order neurons which are present in the dorsal root ganglion let me draw that this is the posterior root this is anterior root in the posterior root showing the dilatation then here this is spinal nerve if this is a pain first order neurons will be passing through either anterior primary ramai or posterior primary ramai they enter into the spinal nerve and here they reaches to the dorsal root ganglion this dorsal root ganglion having the cell body cell body having the peripheral process and central process first sensation has come through the peripheral process reaching the cell then the same sensation is passing through the central process and reaching the dorsal horn cells so what are the dorsal horn cells here see lateral spinothalamic tract second order neurons are arising from the marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa so here it is relaying in two nuclei then second order neurons second order neurons will be arising from the marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa actually this nucleus what we call substantia gelatinosa of rolando right so here second order neurons are started this second order neurons once they arising from there they cross to the opposite side they cross to the opposite side and they reaches to the lateral white funiculus they reaches to lateral white funiculus within the lateral white funiculus they ascends up they ascends throughout the spinal cord and they pass through the brain stem and they reaches to the vpl ventral posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus from there third order neurons will start these third order neurons are reaching the area number 312 so if you compare with this what changes we have found receptors are changed if the cross receptor is stimulated cold stimulation is going if roughness and organs are stimulated heart stimulation is going if free nerve endings are stimulated pain impulses are going so through the peripheral process of dorsal root ganglion these sensations will be carried reaching the cell body from the cell body same sensation will be carried by the central process those central processes will be reaching the posterior horn cells what are those substantia gelatinosa and marginal nuclei from there second order neurons are started those second order neurons are crossing from this side to this side if it is coming from that side they will be crossing from this side to this side they crosses to the opposite side and reaching the lateral white funiculus within the lateral white funiculus these fibers are ascending up pass through the spinal cord pass through the brain stem pass through the internal capsule and reaching the thalamus within the thalamus third order neurons are started and reaching to the area number 312 that means somatic sensory area that's it about the pain pathway let me repeat it it is very simple in case of pain free nerve endings will stimulate in case of cold crosses receptor will stimulate in case of warm raffinis and organs will stimulate that stimulus will be converted into 
electrical impulses, those impulses will be carried by the peripheral process of cells which are present in the dorsal root ganglion and reaches to the cell bodies. From the cell bodies, same stimulus will be carried by central process. Those central process will be reaching to the substantia gelatinosa and the marginal nucleus. Then second order neurons from those nuclei that means from the substantia gelatinosa of Rolando and marginal nuclei. From those nuclei second order neurons will start. Those second order neurons will cross the midline and reach to the opposite side lateral white funiculus. Then within the lateral white funiculus of opposite side fibers will ascend that means second order neurons will ascend up passes through the brain stem and internal capsule and they reaches to the thalamus. In the thalamus they relay in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus. Then from the thalamus third order neurons these are the third order neurons third order neurons will start those third order neurons will be reaching to the area number 3 1 2. So what is the difference between the anterior spinothalamic tract and lateral spinothalamic tract? In case of anterior spinothalamic tract receptors are pressure receptors that means Paysanian carp cells. In case of lateral spinothalamic tract there are three receptors. If it is pain free nerve endings. If it is cold causes receptors. If it is hot or warmth roughness and organs. Then first order neurons same that means cells which are present in the dorsal root ganglion. Then second order neurons. In case of anterior spinothalamic tract, second order neurons will start from the nucleus proprius. In case of lateral spinothalamic tract, second order neurons will start from the marginal nucleus and substantia gelatinosa. In case of anterior spinothalamic tract, this tract will ascends through the anterior white funiculus. But in case of lateral spinothalamic tract, as name implies, these fibers will be running in the lateral white funiculus. Then they pass through the spinal cord, pass through the brain stem and pass through the internal capsule and they reach to the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus. Then third order neurons will start from the same nuclei and they reach to the area number 312. Here one important thing you should remember when they are passing through the brain stem, here one network of fibers and cells will be there. This network of fibers and cells which are present in the brain stem what you call reticular formation. So here reticular formation is there. Some fibers from the anterior spinothalamic tract and some fibers from the lateral spinothalamic tract connect with the reticular formation. That means some fibers from the anterior spinothalamic tract and lateral spinothalamic tract will connect with the reticular formation. Because of that only whenever the person is in the coma they will give the pain stimulus to wake up. So this is about the anterior spinothalamic tract and lateral spinothalamic tract.